Dr. Beauty. So we are doing an experiment of experiments today. Um, a few weeks ago when I went and picked up the S Curl Activator Gel, um, I also saw another throwback item. And I was like, let me see if this does anything. If you remember this, the bottle looks a little different. This is like the picture of like the throwback what the throwback bottle looks like. This is traditionally used to do roller sets, stretch hairstyles, uh, wrap, roller sets and wraps. And this actually says that it is a Style Me texturizing setting lotion. It's ready to use. Because back in the day, we had to put it in a spray bottle and add water to it and then, you know, soak your hair down and roll it on the perm rods or the rollers. Um, whatever your process was to get your roller set done. And, um, it's already pre-mixed. It says it has coconut and shea oils. Um, it creates superior hold, adds brilliant shine, great body. I do remember the shine being on point once your hair was dry. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to at least get awesome shine. I think I'm attempting to do a wash and go. I did use a leave-in. Um, it says it's quick, dry, non-flaking. It can be used on natural, relaxed, color-treated hair, locks out humidity, and smooths each strand for a long-lasting, silky, smooth, glossy set. But that's like in roller set world. <laughs> I don't know what will happen if I try to use this for a wash and go. I do have a semi-backup planned with a gel or actually a wax um if this looks kind of crazy we're just gonna see what kind of definition we might get the supposed hole that it's claiming to have and if it is wash and go friendly um and yeah i was not playing any games with this poor spout I will be putting it in a spray bottle. I don't have time for the drip drip. Oh, it smells like like a pina colada. Interesting. You guys let me know if you have tried any of the Lottie Butter. <laughs> Lottie Butter. Lots of body collection out. And if so, how did you like it? Okay, this should be more than enough of this. I think I'm going to detangle a little bit before I apply the lot of body and um, I was gonna apply oil in between but there are so many oils in the setting lotion that I don't think I need to do that all right so let's get into it tacky and sticky as I remember they say it's pre-mixed I said it it could be a little bit more concentrated but let's see mm. yeah I don't feel any hold or any source of uh, frizz control um yeah so we are going to go in with a little backup plan that i talked about
okay total change of plans um this stuff has no hold whatsoever and um the hair paint wax doesn't really provide any real additional hold so what i'm going to do is a um twist style i'm going to do some flat twist and add the hair paint wax like i was continuing to do and we'll see what kind of result we get with that but plan a is just not gonna go So my flat twist out didn't turn out half bad. I love the touch of blue with the color from the hair paint wax. Um, I did get a good amount of definition from the wide body, but it doesn't really have any hold, at least not the type of hold I was expecting. And I've been pretty unsatisfied with my hair shape these days. So this turned into a really cute, slick high puff. Um, and if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieved this, leave me a comment down below. That's pretty much it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. And don't forget to live out loud, own your truth, and let your light shine. Bye.